All right, we are live. All right, so I am Elaine at um, Travel Grandma. And as if you have watched the uh, video that premiered just before this live, you are in the know about a brand new project that I'm doing called Nomads Down the Road. And what we're going to do here is we're going to talk a little bit about that. I have some special guests that are be going to be coming on in just a little bit. But first, what I want to do is introduce you to the website, give you a little bit of a sense of what you're not seeing until you actually join. So let me go ahead and set that up for you. And as I get my guests already backstage here, you can uh, be watching the video. Enjoy, and I'll see you shortly. Nomads Down the Road is a place to connect with like-minded people, whether you're part-time, full-time, or a wannabe nomad. You'll want to sign up to create an account. Accounts are free. It's as simple as filling out this form. You'll want to enter your email address twice, your password to confirm it, your name. And what I like to put for the username is something unique to me. So I put Travel Grandma. Notice how there are no spaces. Next, you want to select your member type. You can be a host or a member. Hosts have the opportunity to be listed on our map. The proper way to list yourself as a host is to list your city. I happen to be in Laguna Woods in California. Notice how I put the comma in between here, comma, USA. It's the proper way to list yourself. You do not want to list your address for privacy purposes, and the system is built to only accept a city, state, and your country in this particular format. Select Agree and create your account. One thing you want to be aware of was when you get that confirmation email, Oftentimes, it may end up in your spam folder, so check that. We'll sign in by just entering your email and your password, and I always like to do Remember Me, so I don't have to sign in every single time. Once you sign in, you'll see your name pop up here on the right. I have the opportunity to see all of the pages within this website. You will not see this before signing in. The first area you want to go to is your profile and you'll want to fill this out. The way that you fill it out is you go to the edit button. You'll see three pages in your profile. This part is already filled out. This is the information that you entered upon joining. The next page is about me. You'll want to put your bio in there. And then the next page, if you signed up to be a host, will be the information that you want to provide for members to see on your profile. You'll see a list of the people that you have connected with so far and the people that are following you and that you are following. The host map can be found on the home page right here or on the top as well as on the navigation menus here and on this site over here. You'll never get lost. Once you are on the host map, see how this clicks on and off like that? Gives you a little bit more room. Once you're on the host map, you'll be able to see who's in the area that you might be traveling into. Let's take a look. Let's see who's in New Mexico. Click on her pin for her location. You can open this up and you'll see her profile. I am connected with Amy. 
I can message her here by clicking these three dots. I see her profile, I see her about page, and I see her host details all linked together now. Let's take a look at some of the other pages. There's a news feed where I can see all the updates. My timeline, the events, which I'll show you in just a second. Here's a list of all of the members, and this is where you can connect with members. You can connect with them, you can follow them, you can send them a message right here. Let's go back to the events. This is our events calendar. We have what we call villages. Villages consist of clubs and groups that you can join depending on your interests. I happen to have a local Southern California group where we meet about once a month. I also have a Travel Grandma YouTube community where my followers can connect with me. There's a blog of articles and any member can submit an article. There is a getting started guide, which can help you. We are a self-sustaining community and your contributions are always welcome. I hope you enjoyed this brief introduction and you will consider joining our free community today. Okay, so I had an opportunity while it was playing to say hello to some of you in the chat. But what I would like to do right now is show you, actually show you how that works. That's why I brought on some special guests today. So my first guest is going to actually be the new YouTube creator, Cindy of Pioneer Grandma. Let me go ahead and bring her on here and we'll say hi to her. Hi, Cindy. Hey, how are you? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you. So I titled this live stream um, Chat Live with Ladies Who Have Innovative Ideas. <laughs> so I invited you because I, I've actually come to know you as um, a person who... It's kind of forward thinking, you know, well, you uh, during if you've uh, before this video air this for this chat air, excuse me. Um, I showed a video of Cindy's van tour and she has some very innovative um, ideas in there, but oh, and also started a channel called Pioneer Grandma. And I think it's a game changer. I love what you're doing. So I would like you to share in your own words a little bit about yourself so viewers can get to know you a little bit and a little bit about your channel too and how you came to even van life. How did this all come to be? <laughs> well, I've always liked thinking outside the box. Um, like for example, I'm going to bake sourdough bread in my Traeger. It's a barbecue grill sort of gadget that my husband usually uses for brisket and for tray tip and stuff like that. Well, why not bake sourdough bread in it? We'll see. Oops. Well, Sorry. Wait. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> Wrong well, one. Wait well, a minute. Yeah. Let, me just keep, let me just keep it simple here. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so watch for the video. We'll see if it works or not. If it works, you'll see that. If it doesn't work, you'll see that too. Because Oh my gosh. You have two shorts they have perked my interest so much. You did one, I think, where you were in your home baking sourdough bread. I, I think I mentioned that I think that the computer has smell vision I can just like <laughs> smell it. And then what did you do? Just a couple of days ago, I think you posted one where you, you did it while you were traveling in your van. Oh, my gosh. I did it in a Dutch oven over coals in a park I stopped at. So, and that I've got a video coming out tomorrow 
Um, the weather was pretty cruddy, so I mixed up all the bread and everything sitting in my minivan. Okay. So, you know, you can do it wherever. But so that video will come out tomorrow. The one on the Traeger will be out soon. Um, we'll What's see how that works. It's a barbecue smoker grill sort of thing. You can smoke brisket and stuff in it. Oh. And it, you can control the temperature. So I think I can bake sourdough bread in there. We'll okay. see. Watch awesome. for it. <laughs> yeah, definitely will. So people have always thought I was a little odd anyway. I didn't have any friends that liked to camp until January when I came to Quartzsite and met you. Mm -hmm. um, and now I have all kinds of friends. It's, it's been wonderful. You and Nomads Down the Road have made such a difference. Oh, and the other ladies okay. that I met in Quartzsite, it was wonderful. So my friends back home say, um, you want to camp by yourself and you want to sleep in your minivan? <laughs> kind of odd. And my theory is, okay, so you take a grandma who likes to camp and travel and who likes to be prepared in case of emergencies and who loves learning and wants to know how to do all those old skills like bushcraft and spinning and weaving and camping and, of course, sourdough baking. And so I do stuff at home. I do stuff on the road. I do it wherever. Um, I think maybe I'll go bake in Walmart parking lot. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, but so you take somebody like that and you throw them in a minivan. Well, what do they do? They turn it into a camper. And for me, it's kind of like my modern day covered wagon. I don't know. Mm -hmm. We're going to have fun. I've just had a blast. But how did you get the idea of um, turning your minivan into a camper? Where did that come from? Well, originally? I had surgery just before COVID started on my foot and I couldn't be on my foot for like nine weeks. Mm -hmm. And so I sat and watched YouTube videos of people doing all the things that I wanted to be doing. So I was watching people like Bob Wells of Cheap RV Living and D of Lady Bug Out. Oh, yes. um, let's see, Carol of Glorious Life on Wheels and um, Jan of Butterfly Tracks. Okay. Bunny plays here, um, Ishana, um, Blue Wonder Lady, and of course, Elaine of Travel Grandma, <laughs> you guys were all so inspiring and made me actually believe mm -hmm. that I could do that. Yeah. Um, and there's all these new gals coming out and new guys coming out. So D Deb of Traveling Gypsy Deb, um, Katie of Doofus Adventures and Patty of Van Life While You Can. That's encouraging. You know, I, yes. just because I'm old doesn't mean I can't do it anymore, right? That's true. That's true. Anyway, so it's made a big difference for me, and I appreciate it so much. I've gotten so many ideas from all these wonderful people online. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you what, Cindy. I have a little surprise for you. I okay. have a special guest that I don't think you know is coming on, do you? You know Liz is um, coming on. Liz, is, Liz the Gadget Queen is coming on in just a little bit. But I met her at Quartzsite. Yes, yes. But before I bring Liz on, I would like to bring another special guest who I have, who is also on the Nomads Down the Road website. She has a village that she started. Oh, cool. I better go look. For her YouTube channel. So right there, it tells you she's a YouTube creator, right? Yeah. And she started about a year ago. All right. And I had met her, and I'd like to introduce you to, and I think you probably already know her. Okay. You mentioned, you mentioned her name. Did I? You okay. did. You did. So <laughs> let, me, let me bring her on. Here's my surprise guest, Jan of oh. Butterfly Tracks. Hi. <laughs> You've been such an inspiration to me. <laughs> oh, that's nice to hear. That's so oh. nice to hear. Do you, well, want get, do you want to if get? If I could do it, anybody could, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I remember watching one of your videos in the very beginning. I think it was, and you said um, something about I remembered that I could fly. Yes, Aww. and that was so cool. It's not. I think there's like a, a whole new women's movement I'm seeing of older women who have the time and the ability. And maybe not a lot of money, but we it, it's finally our turn. 
You know, it's finally right. our turn. And it's a movement. There's so many of us. I'm finding so many women on the road. And I'm, I'm meeting so many women in the meetups. And they're all so enthusiastic. And even yeah. so many thousands of women that I haven't even met yet that I have commented on my Facebook page or, or especially on my YouTube channel comments. And they are so enthusiastic. And I think they they recognize that I feel just what they feel, you know. Yes, you're real and you share that. That's very and, cool. And that it's, the, it's this deep desire, though, that I can't even explain for myself, let alone for others. But I feel it in them and they feel it in me. Mm -hmm. Speaking Thank of you. sharing... One of the reasons that I wanted to bring Jan on was because Jan has had a successful channel. I mean, it, it in one year, she has gone from zero subscribers to 20,000 subscribers. Oh, my. Yeah. So it, was, it, was a bit of, it was a bit of a surprise that <laughs> I think it was the third, after the third video that I put up in, in just like three weeks. I was monetized. Yeah. And then, of course, it's been up, it been up and down and up and down since then. Yeah, um, I've been mostly up. <laughs> I've been monetized in the very, very beginning, too. Mm -hmm. I'm almost at 10,000 subscribers. I should probably hit that this month. But you Ooh. have like, boom, blood up. <laughs> and I am so happy for you. I seriously am. And I would love for you two to have a little chat. And maybe Cindy might have some questions as a new YouTube creator. And maybe you can um, you have a little bit of advice for her as far as maybe some things to consider moving forward. Right. Um, well, you know, there watch YouTube videos on um, a YouTube channels. There are so many of them. Uh, and you'll know the ones that relate to you. Uh, it could be. It could be something like lighting or, you know, editing or storytelling or promoting your channel. And all of that is great. Um, and, you know, they always say to put up at least one video a week. I know Elaine's very uh, good at being organized, but I'm a butterfly. <laughs> we don't fly in a straight line. And I kind of randomly put them up there. When everyone hatches out of the cocoon, it goes up. <laughs> and, uh, so I'm not, I, you know, they used to say uh, like and subscribe and, you know, all that. I don't do that either. Some of my very first videos at the very end, I said thank you for subscribing and liking. But at the very end, when a lot of people have clicked off, I, I would put that. But I, I don't, all those things aren't necessarily, if it's about you, it's about you. It's about you being uh, you. <laughs> you know, there's not a lot more to it than that. Really, it's not about thumbnails. My thumbnails are very organic. I take almost always take just a video out of, I mean, a, a, a screenshot or a snapshot out of the timeline. I just find a frame I like and I put a title above it in the timeline of my editing software and that's how i make the um that's how i make my thumbnails i don't go into diff i mean i'm not recommending that <laughs> necessarily i'm just saying that you can do it all kinds of different ways and still be successful if you're just you yeah. you know just being you tell people how you feel uh i wish i was one of those who could sit and talk to the camera like um a lot of people do. I, I can't just, I can't take the, the camera and walk around and, and show me while I'm walking because I get dizzy and I don't want this to end and I refuse to fall down and break it up. You know, <laughs> I'm not, I can't walk around and do that. I can, I can turn the camera around and show you what I'm seeing, but I can't look in back and forth to the camera and look down at the ground when I'm walking. So you won't see me do a walk and talk. Um, but I want in my channel, I'm I'm trying to get people to feel what I'm feeling, you not just what I'm seeing, but what I'm feeling. And um, any way you can do that will work for you. So it's not about thumbnails. It's not about um, it's you'll develop your way and there's no wrong way. It's just about the people feeling the real you. 
that's my best that's, advice. Oh, that is wonderful advice. You know, I forget to do all those things myself. I never say, you know, subscribe, except in my little little promo thing that kind of comes up that I actually did not create myself. I had somebody on Fiverr create that for me. So you can get some help like that. Yeah. And I, I okay. very rarely say, give me a thumbs up. But you know what? Since you're watching this right now, give me a thumbs do up. It. <laughs> and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yeah. already. And also, if you go over to, I haven't used this very much yet at all, but I, we're going to, moving forward, we're going to be using the Nomads Down the Road YouTube channel. Okay, I'm still doing the um, oh. Travel Grandma channel, but there's going to be a brand new, and it's there now, I just set it up, um, Nomads Down the Road YouTube um I don't know, dot com slash nomads down the road, something like that. You'll find it or just ask me and I'll direct you there. OK, what we're going to do is we're going to start putting up some videos there. But because it's not my website, the, all the videos are not going to be about me. Oh. They're going to be about you and you and whoever else wants to share within our community. So within our community, whoever has something that they want to share, whether they have a YouTube channel or not, we will get you onto our Nomads Down the Road um, channel so you can share. Okay? That's amazing. That's yeah. amazing. So with that said, what I would like to do is bring another one of our guests on. I would like to bring... The one, the only, <laughs> Gadget Queen, Liz. Yay! <laughs> Hi, Liz. Hey, Liz. Hi. Liz Hi. is one of my original 10 women to actually put the Nomads Down the Road website together. I could not have done it without her and without the other ladies that we, for months, we met um, well, about once a week, I think, Liz, huh? Sometimes a little bit more. And we talked about what would a website look like? What does our community need? What are you missing? Okay. And one of the major things that was missing was when we travel, where are we going to park? Mm -hmm. A lot of us cannot afford to um, park at campgrounds all the time. Mm -hmm. Plus a lot of campgrounds, they don't even want us. That's they don't true. want us camping there in our cars. Mm -hmm. And so there was 10 original women. And I'll introduce you to them, not today in this um, live, but at another time, that talked about how can we create an all-inclusive community, not even just for women, but for men and women. And how can we help each other? What kind of resources can we use? What do we have to offer each other? How can we share? How can we build a community that we want? Okay. Mm -hmm. Liz was a major part of that. And Liz has a program called, um, what's the, you, you, you know what, Liz? You share. You share. share. I'm gonna start. You share. <laughs> Well, the program is Chair the Land, and it's part of the map that we yep. have in Nomads down the road. So that means that if you're a member and you want to be a host, you can do it too. You don't have to own the property, you know? If you have, and you know, hey, there's a place here that you could stay here. You cannot stay in my house, but you could stay in, I don't know, a crackle bottle or it's a nice, I don't know, uh, rest area near me. That info is important when you are on the road looking for a place to stay and it's getting dark. You know what That's I mean? That's right. But let me let me say one thing. So Liz came to visit me. Now, I live in a condo in a um, gated community. And she came in her RV when she came to visit me. And I could not host her here. I hosted her when she came in her car one time but not in her RV. So there is a campground, not, I think, 10, 15 minutes up the road, isn't it, Liz? Mm -hmm. Yes. And she stayed at the campground, and I went up and I visited her, and I actually 
drove her back to my house, you know, and um, we had the opportunity to visit each other. And she, I was providing her a safe place to stay while she was in the area. Mm-hmm. So you do, to be a host, you do not have to have a home with a curb or a driveway or land or anything like that. Of course, it's wonderful if you do. Mm-hmm. You don't have to. So Liz um, wants to make it known that if you have land, especially, that's especially attractive to us because then we can hold some meetups there. Everybody mm-hmm. wants to have meetups. I know Janet's been hosting a lot of meetups in the Florida area. And um, you're going to be hosting a little bit more meetups, aren't you, Jan? No. Yeah, okay. I'm going north. I'm going up the East Coast this year. Um, mm-hmm. And I'm going to take my time because I could be in Maine in a, if I drove straight through pretty quickly. But I want to have a meetup in every state along the way. And by the way, I because I was nervous, and uh, that's why what you're doing with this map is going to be so important for all of us. I was nervous going up the East Coast because I had heard that there are no places to stay, no free places. I mean, free places are very cheap. So I got I am in a cabin right now that I got through Thousand Trails Cabin Pass. And I wouldn't have done that if we had that map completed, you know. And once once we get that map, you know, I won't I'm hoping I won't need to do that again next year. But um I I really was nervous about not finding a place. So this is gonna be a really wonderful service across the country, and I hope everybody supports it. Wonderful. And also, um, on the website, there will be there is an events tab, and if people are going to have meetups, and it doesn't have to be a YouTube creator, it can be anybody can have a meetup. Liz mm-hmm. is not a YouTube creator, although she, I feature her on my channel a lot of times, so I feel like we're kind of partners <laughs> in that way. Um, she shared her land with us for my very first meetup last year in Colorado was wonderful mm-hmm. we had like yeah. Yeah. people show up yeah. we had such a great time we hope to be able to do that again in the fall when the weather is nice up there mm-hmm. but so if you have land let us know let us know about it let other people in the community know who want to have meetups anybody can have a meetup um it can a meetup can be as um small as just one other person meeting for lunch sometime that you met Mm -hmm. on the website. Okay. Yep. I'm finding from my meetups that I'm having that women um, are coming for their first camping trip. They're nervous. They get there and, and they right away are starting to feel very welcome and make lifelong friendships. And one of the beautiful things is that we're seeing them branch out like two people who'd never met each other before are now, you know, they're branching off into their own little meetups and that's ideal. Um, They're, they're just two or three of them are getting together. Which way are you going? I may even do some caravanning as I'm going North. And if I don't see it, we're certainly not going to follow each other, but we'll do Google location sharing Mm -hmm. and we will, and we'll, you know, like plan to maybe sleep in the same place. I kind of consider it parallel caravanning, certainly mm-hmm. not following each other. We're going to meet at this tonight. You go your way and I'll go mine and then we'll meet together. And we'll also do location sharing for safety. Wonderful. Okay. That happened at our meetup too, didn't it, Liz? Yes, that happened. Yeah. 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 So what well, else happened at the meetup, Liz? Let's talk a little bit about it. You shared well, your land. Actually, it was your cousin's land, right? But you also yeah. have land. Yeah. Uh, my cousin has uh, five acres. It's a little more foresty area. Uh, some regulation in the community, blah, blah, blah. But we covered <laughs> that. And then I have two, uh, two and a half acres. But it's more, you know, um, less foresty, you know, less woods. But a lot of mountain views and a lot of flat, flat, flat. So you don't have to even worry about leveling, you know, your rig or whatever you're driving is pretty good. But it's dry camping. It's dry camping. So we have to bring everything. 
when we did the meetup in uh, in June, what we in July, what we did is that I got the 300 gallons of water. Our, uh, we bring the porta potty that everybody was using it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we, they were using it all right. <laughs> yeah, you remember that. <laughs> that was boot camp, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah, it was. Yeah. So the thing is that, uh, and then we have the trash pickup and we have the central kitchen. That was good because of fire uh, hazard. You know, we don't want people cooking in their, in their rigs, if, you know, in their newbies, you know. So we want them to share, you know, the, the skills, cooking skills too, you know, and we did that a couple of times. Mm -hmm. So that was, was awesome. Then, um, uh, the only thing that we don't tackle, and I said that for the next meetup, if we don't have it, we should tackle that, is to create the showers. So we could have an area, instead of going to the gas station or my house or my other house to have a shower, then, you know, I think that we, we could do that uh, okay. for the next meetup. At least on, nice. on, 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 drive, on boondocking, because it was really boondocking what we were doing there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, and we experienced it all. We had rain, we had heat, <laughs> but we had a lot of fun, didn't we? It we was. have emergency room. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. we had we had four emergency rooms. One of them was mine. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. 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 It was, was so much fun. Yeah. Well, let's go on and see who's in our um, chat. If you got, okay. if you ladies want to go to the comments, um, maybe we can. Um, talk to some of the people who are here i see um let's see whoops Oops. did i clean oh you lost jen. Jen. Oh I'll ask jen. jen come back if you want jen. To. yeah we did we did okay so who do we have here um you have any questions oh and honey and me here is susan and so of honey and me hi um, she is on Nomad's Hi. Down the Road. She has a village on there as well. Good to see you, Susan. Let's see who else. Does anybody have any questions? Oh, here's um, Anne, Anne of um, Fueled Wonderless. by Wonderlust. Fueled by Wonderlust. Yeah, I yep. saw that. Uh, I have a little bit of delay on my tablet. I don't know why, but I tried to fix it, but I have a little bit of delay there, so. Okay, well, you're fine. You're fine, Liz. Okay. Um, oh, somebody was mentioning that yeah. I should write a book on 50 places to make sourdough bread. That's a great idea. <laughs> that is a, yeah. what, about, what about 50 videos on how to make sourdough bread? Oh, well, you have to have the videos along with it. I think it's Wonder, wow. wonder, wander, lust, or bust. Thank you for the suggestion. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So Nancy of Inspired to Wander, she's also oh. on the Nomads. I am. Um, anybody okay. coming to Northern California this summer? Oh. Mm, interesting. That's okay. my area. Maybe. I would love to see you again. I seriously would, Nancy. We'll, we'll see. I'm going to spend a little bit of time. I'm going to go to the Grand Canyon and spend, um, spend a little time with Liz and um, maybe Jan, too. We'll see. Let me get Jan back up here. You just pop back on. I there wanted, are, to, Jan. Hey, I wanted, I wanted to see the chat, and I hit the chat button, and I went away. <laughs> okay. Can you see it yeah. now, though? I can't see it, no. Okay. That's well, okay. I'll, I'll let you read them, and I'll respond if you want me to. Okay. You see how um, Inspired by Wander, she put the two cues there. That's a little bit easier for me to see than just to read the comments. So if you have a question, please do that. And okay, Tim, I, if you're I, still here, I don't know if Tim is still here. Um, I, if you see a I, question, can you put it up for me? I uh, There's somebody asking, any tips for I-10 West? I'm heading West soon. Uh Depend oh. on what part of what of I ten you are taking. So, van life with uh, Labradoodle. Any tips on I ten taking I ten? Yeah, let West? us know where you're heading, because um, yeah, I am in Southern California. 
you need to, to say where you start. Oh, the starting from Florida. She's starting from Florida. From Florida. Okay. Uh, that's the way I'm going to take for going back home because I'm stuck in Florida for a <laughs> month. I'm doing a house sitting, my brother's house, you know, uh, Dolphins fan. <laughs> so I'm taking I-10. Uh, and then I'm going to do a, I don't want to do in my RV the area. There's a lot of construction on New Orleans and Baton Rouge and all that area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross a little bit of Mississippi, not too much. Uh, and then take 20, avoid that area, that BC area, and then go down again on 10. Uh, I don't know, around Dallas area and then go home from there. So Sharon, remember Sharon and, and Cinnamon from the um, retreat? Yeah. She's the one. She yeah. we did the masks with her. That was so much fun. Remember the masks? Yeah. Up and up? <laughs> anyway, she's saying, Liz, is the retreat in the fall going to be on the same property we are we were on last year? Mm. Hmm. Probably not, right? You're going to have it on your land instead? Well, we could... We could do we could do the foresty area, but uh, yeah. But you know what happened last time? They almost kicked us out. Yeah, yeah. Because we had they were thinking they were thinking that we were a homeless camp. Oh. Yeah. I went. I went. You know. I went all Puerto Rican on then. I'm like, no, dude. Do you think that you know yeah. homeless camp will look like this? Pacificas here. You know, elect hybrid. $65,000 RVs. No, we are not homeless. We are just women that we want to have fun. Yeah, yeah. So, so. It, that, that was cool. So I, yeah. I would like to have it on your land, though, Liz. Let's do your land. Yeah, we could, uh, yeah, we could have it in my land. And I think that uh, the way that I'm planning when I get there, uh, I'm going to have, I'm planning on putting solar on the shed so that way people could go and charge their battery there if they have uh -huh. to. Uh, and then I'm going to bring the water and, um, I think, uh, maybe, you know, the finance help, I might have a permanent, uh, composting toilet there just for the use of, of us. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. That's, that's Friday. She had to say that she's here. So you, know, Friday. <laughs> you know what, Liz? So here's the thing. I think at your meetup, we spoiled everybody, you know? I mean, we had porta potties, and you took them to your house, and we did showers there. They went to the lake. They were spoiled. Somebody left a panties <laughs> in my house just in case. Black panties. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so maybe we should do a little bit more dry camping. Still yeah. have the trash. Still have the trash. Showers. I guess we could do showers. Yeah. <laughs> And we could we're build the showers too because they're not that difficult. It's just we were not, I don't know. We looking for convenience and you know, there's a, a way to do boondocking and there's a way to, you know, have all the convenience at home. But yeah. it's your first time and I understand they, you know, they they yeah. they they need to learn. It's like I told you about that lady that I met from North Carolina here. Yeah. That's that, there was a lady that she lost her husband a year ago and she bought uh, Sienna, a new Sienna, and she went to start, you know, and she came down to visit family here in Florida. And then she was looking at a state park and yeah. there was only one spot and I was behind her. And then when she said, oh, I'm in a van and she's and then the woman said, is this is a tent site can you do you have a tent and she said no i don't have a tent i sleep in my car mm -hmm. and i look at her and i was like you have a tent yeah you know and then she's like no i don't have a tent i said you have a tent and she's like no i don't have a tent i said well then you don't have a tent then so what i was telling her then after she lost the spot and they don't give it to me too she said but i don't have a tent i said get a tent one person yeah. tent and put the freaking tent there, set it up, use it as a storage and sleep in your car. Because exactly. state parks, they will not allow you to stay in your car. At yeah. least that one there, they already told you, you know. So those are 
things that we need to learn. So people, and then she was like, well, I could stay in. And then I told her about Crackle Bottle. So that's where she stayed at night. Oh, good for you. Yeah. So let's get a look at this. Uh, well, are the meetups mostly boondocking? No, not necessarily, because we're meeting at a um, park um, here in Southern California, actually next Tuesday and Wednesday. So that's that's a local park, um, regional campground here. And that's not boondocking because they have facilities there. They'll have uh, free showers and bathrooms and things like that. And, and then she says, she says yeah. she's brand new to butterfly tracks. And she thinks that Liz, those panties should become a flag. Oh, dear. <laughs> They're nylon. <laughs> so, yeah. But uh, not because you could do uh, a boondocking, dry camping, you know, nothing. Now that I have in my RV, uh, I've been doing a lot of boondocking because I have now solar. But even with that, I, I still saving my solar, you know, just in case. And I have my power station everywhere. And, you know, I try to connect here and connect there and charge this and charge that. So, mm -hmm. but, uh, but yeah, we try to have at least, you know, a bathroom. So people don't have to, you know, use their, their skills in their bands. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, um, but. I think that, yeah, we could, you know, we, we, we've we been doing sort of boondocking and then on O'Neill, we have everything but no power, but you have everything. You have water, you have bathroom. Yeah. We are trying, we are trying to get them uh, if it's, you know, if the price is right too, because, you know, they have to make money too, you know? Mm -hmm. So the campgrounds. So this, this one um, maybe is directed to you, Jan. I, I can't read it. Okay, she's this. Um, this is from Janice, and she said just joined a few minutes ago. Any meetups on the East Coast? Uh, we have one coming up in this uh, in a couple of weeks, but it's full. They fill up like instantly. I don't put them on events because we we usually have limited space. So you can't just click I'm going and then just go. We have to we can't have 50 people show up if you only have 25 spaces. Mm -hmm. And we don't want anybody driving from a state away or two states away. And then, you know, we're full. And you know, mm -hmm. so we do pre-register everybody. And this one in April is full. I want to have at least one a month and in every state. So the next okay. one's probably going to be in Georgia. And I'll be having meetups at least one a month as I go north with Maine as my bucket list this year. And are you going to yeah. add them to the events page on the Nomads Down the Road website? No, I really can't. I mean, once I announce them within hours, I am swamped, oh, yeah. swamped, swamped with requests. That's and, you know, I have to turn people away. So I really don't mean to announce at other places. Okay. Um, I wish I could, but, you know, like I said, a, a lot of ours are only 25 to 30 people and uh, can't take any more because there's really no place to park another vehicle in some of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wish I could. I'd love to have a huge one. We need to have a women's Woodstock someday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, someday. Yeah. Well, well, someday. Someday. <laughs> someday. Hey, you know what? If not now, when? Yeah, right. Soon. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Soon. Let's do one. Let's talk. Yeah. Okay. All right. There's, there's, a, there's a question. They said, okay. uh, if I have a YouTube channel. I have a YouTube channel that grandma got for me. But I'm sorry. I'm not a YouTube creator. That's okay. It's a lot but of work. I am open. So if you need a video of any... Gadget, yeah. let me know. <laughs> awesome, yeah. She's not exclusive. We're not exclusive of the Gadget Queen. And, um, awesome. All right. Any other questions? We've been on for just almost about 45 minutes. Okay. And um, someone asked about, um, yeah, somebody asked Thank about you. sourdough cooking, doing sourdough bread over coals. And um, yeah, that's the video that's coming out tomorrow. Awesome. Ooh. Awesome. What I think that was Ramona. 
Do you have any other questions, Cindy, about um, your channel or about ways that maybe we can um, help you? I want to figure out how you guys grew so fast. What you attribute that to? Jan? Uh, well, I um, my I... first video is my very, very, very first video. The one where I just threw a ottoman in my van and I bought a dresser on Amazon and a bunch of stuff I didn't need that I don't even have anymore. <laughs> that is my number one video. Really? Number one. And that's the video that basically monetized me within a couple of weeks. That's amazing. What they want to know you? what you're doing and how you're doing it. Anything that's helpful, any kind of tips that you can give, just showing them what you're doing, showing them what doesn't work too. I mean, yes. don't, I mean, we, we, I've had quite a few tips and tricks and gadgets and whole gadget shows and that kind of thing. But, um, you know, it'd be kind of nice to have one that says, don't waste your money on category because mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> i have dumped a lot of things i mean yeah. some of them i didn't even want to give away <laughs> you know so um i think that's good too it doesn't have to be all products though it could be um it could I, be anything anything yeah, you're yeah. doing anything the good, the good and the ugly too because there's it's true sometimes you buy this stuff because work for somebody but maybe you bought it and you're like hmm that don't yeah. work for me, you yeah. know? So Jan, do you mm -hmm. think that what, what kinds of your videos do you think have been the most popular? Well, of course, van tours are, but always, always. the way that I do, and that's true of any channel, I bet you, I'm sure it is. Yes. But um, they don't want to know just about how you put your bed in there. They want to know who is this person on the road? What are they, why are they here? How are they doing this? You know, they want to know about the person. They want it to be personal. So in any video okay. that you do, make it personal. I don't care if it's gadgets. Mm -hmm. You know, you need to express how you feel about things and what you're seeing if you're excited. I'm a little tired of the van life sucks genre. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of over the van life sucks genre because it doesn't for me. I mean, I couldn't make one. I could have some days that suck, <laughs> but van yeah. life does not. And I've been doing this since December of 2021. Uh. So it's well over a year, going to be going on a year and a half soon. And uh, I'm not doing the math. Sorry, I'm trying to think of what to say next. <laughs> not the math. So I don't know how many months it's been. But it's been a long time and I love it. Now, I oh. wish it was just the temperature. The temperature was perfect every month of the year, all the way across the United States. Mm -hmm. Then I could just go wherever I wanted. I feel restricted mm -hmm. because I don't do winter. I don't. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, you know, there's a, a Florida, Arizona kind of winter uh, competition, I guess. I don't <laughs> hear that much for really heavy winds that will sand my beautiful new car either. Because <laughs> no. a lot of cars, if you look at the cars that live out there, they get a little sandblasted looking. So Florida has it over that kind of in a way. Um, but, you know, I, I wish I could travel all the time. For, until I went to your meetup, Elaine. Yes. Uh, which was in July from December, all the way through December to July. I traveled every day mm -hmm. with the exception of when we were in the Redwoods. I traveled oh, that every was day. So fun. Remember, that was oh. such a last minute thing. I was meeting Liz. Uh, we we're going to go camping at the Redwoods. And before that, we actually met at Lonnie's house. Lonnie yeah. has a channel. Um, what's Crafty Traveler? And so we met there, and then um, we found out that you were in the area. Well, kind of close by, with you know, not too like, close. I had to, I had to, I had to break hours. the speed limit a little to get there. <laughs> four or five hours, I called you up. Yeah. And you came by, and the three of us caravaned up to the Redwoods. It was so much fun. I mean, yeah, it's it was beautiful. Really it's just making those kinds of connections. The connections. You, you have yeah. to start somewhere. You and have to reach out a little good. bit. Yeah, and that's what Nomads Down the Road, that's what yeah. we want to create on Nomads Down the Road. It made the difference for me. 
I have been wanting to do this for eight, 10 years. Mm -hmm. And I finally got my courage up because of your website. Then I knew that there was somebody, several somebodies that was going to court site to the RTR. Yes. That I could say, okay, I've seen your video and I walked into your camp because you said where it was going to be. And yeah. I was scared to death, but you guys were wonderful and so friendly. Mm -hmm. I hadn't had the courage before you yeah. guys gave it to me. Yeah. So one, one other thing that I would say to you, Cindy, is read your comments. What are people asking? Those are the kinds of videos that they want to see. Answer their questions in your video. Cool. Yep. Okay. But we are all here to help each other. That's the neatest part. Yes, Everybody's yeah, so yeah. friendly and helpful. Yeah. Thank you, Jan. Thank well, you, it's a hundred percent all the way across everybody I've met. Yes. You know, if I go to a, when I was traveling every day and I would go to a, a city park or some park somewhere, there were very, many, many times. There, it seems like in my experiences, there are pretty much more women solo than there are men. I don't mm -hmm. know if anybody mm -hmm. else has found that. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah. we've been doing for other people for so long and it's our turn. And there's so many women that's, that maybe it's sometimes it's even too late for them or they have other commitments where they really can't go for one reason or mm -hmm. another. And mm -hmm. they are living vicariously through us and they are yes. welcome to ride along virtually. I did. They that. absolutely are. Yes. And here's the thing. It doesn't matter if you're full time like Jan or part time like me and Cindy and Liz, or if you're just a wannabe, you are welcome. We welcome mm -hmm. you with open arms and, and we're there for each other. A lot of it is you find sisters on the road. That's what it is. Yeah. And there's men too. Yeah. Yeah. There's not, men, there's not, men. not in my meetup. So <laughs> well, well, here's my kind of distinction. When I say it's going to be a meetup, it's, it's going to be all inclusive men and women because men have a lot to offer too. I mean, Tim helps with um, like van builds and stuff like that. He helped me so much with my latest van build and um, he helped. Oh my gosh. A couple of other uh, women cat, I think just came down um, from Northern California to visit him last week. I missed her, but I hope to catch up with her. And by the way, Nancy um, aspired to wander. I think she's up in your area in um, Santa Rosa. If you guys want to connect, oh. she's, She's, uh, she's, um, I can't remember her last name. I'm sorry, Kat, but, um, connect with her. It's K-A-T. Um, I, I sent her up to Spring Lake <laughs> to do some, um, uh, camping up there. But anyway. Well, Tim was mentioning in the comments yeah. that he helped somebody build a bed platform. Yeah, he did. Yeah, it was, it was yeah. Kat. Yeah. And then Carol, he came down, Carol came over and she just bought a brand new van and he helped uh, take her seats out. Cool. And then, um, yeah, so we, so she's got that. And I mean, we just help each other. Well, you know, at the court site meet, <laughs> meet up, we, we built two vans. It was a truck. Totally. We went to Home Depot. We got the wood, came back and built it in like two days. <laughs> yeah. And, um, yeah, helped uh, Deb. Deb has that other high top and mm -hmm. uh, helped her rearrange her bed a little bit. So, yeah, we just yeah. like help each other. It doesn't matter yeah. if it's a man or a woman or whatever. Everybody is welcome. So, yeah, I, you know, I that's something else, though, that I have run into as far as having you know, just women, we sort of have a genre in yes. our meetups. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. kind of a genre. Like when I say van tour, it could be an overlander. It could be a car. It could be anything. When I say van tour, it could be a trailer one time, you know, oh, yeah. because on my channel, that's, that's a genre is van tour, <laughs> a van tour of a car. Um, and then also with my meetups, they're not very often, but occasionally there are some women who need to be very private shall i say that yes. um you know and and so that's it's in in my world it's been women only um and mm -hmm. and someday you know i'd like to do one that's all inclusive but so right. far it's been very important for them to be able to 
shall we say, let their hair down, right. <laughs> you know, um, no bra zone, right? Yeah. Thank you. I wasn't going to say it, but that's, that's an Elaine thing. A no bra zone. Yes. 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 You can wear one or not, but it's still a no bra zone. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. This is what I was good. I don't think I finished my train of thought. Um, cause you know, I'm getting old and it's like, I love this sometimes, but anyway, I wanted to say that when I say meetup, it's going to be men, women, it's all inclusive. When I say retreat, it's usually a women's retreat. Oh, yeah. anyway, okay. well, let's see if there's any other questions. Does anybody else have a question? I don't want to scroll all the way back. So right now, if you'll put QQQ and write your question, I may have missed it. Um, we will stay on just a couple more minutes to answer. If okay. not, we'll, we'll go ahead and end this chat because we're just coming up on an hour here. And that's, oh my, yeah, mm. I know that Jan's going to be packing up to go on to her next destination. I'm leaving on uh, Tuesday to go to our campground. So let's see. Okay. Here we've got one. So did I click on that right? There he goes. Oh, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Good to see you. This is, um, oh my gosh, what's the name of your mother? The mothership, right? Finding a spot for a meetup. Okay. So Debbie is going to be, she's one of our hosts on Nomads Down the Road. And she wants some advice about finding a spot for a meetup. Hmm. It's not always easy, I have to tell you, because where she's at, where she's at, uh, I believe she's in Utah. Utah. I think she's in Utah. Yeah, it says Central Utah. Google is your friend. I'm sorry. Camp, Google is your friend. You can look up uh, group campgrounds near me or in an area that you want to have it, and both private group campgrounds, you know, various, all kinds hopefully will come up for you. Just look for group campground. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, if you want raw land somewhere, then that's a whole different story state by state. But um, I've been having really good luck with the National Forest group campgrounds. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where I've been having them. Uh, and I can reserve it. Uh, usually they're private with one road in, one road out, at least in Florida, where there's a gate you can lock at night. They've always had facilities, you know, uh, nice hot showers and toilets and uh, a pavilion of some sort. Um, and, and those a lot of times are... Well, so far they've all been limited. There's one place we where we could have a hundred people, but I still kept it to forty because we wanted it more personal and you know intimate yeah. and being able to really get to know each other. But there was a hundred van meet up there at the place wow. near Deland. Hundred hundred women in a hundred vans. Okay. Uh, wow. A really nice big uh, screened-in pavilion. Uh, so I've had it in several different places. Um, my next meetup in April, uh, just over the Georgia line, just into Georgia by five miles, is an RV campground. It's a private RV campground. And I called them and asked them if there was a way we could set up a group meetup. They were so nice and so accommodating. They're going to put two vans to oh. like cars, minivans per RV site, paved mm -hmm. RV site with full hookup, you know, water and electric. Um, and uh, so they gave us a good group rate and it's a little more expensive right. than some of the other things we've had, but they have a screened in 24 hour heated pool oh, wow! <laughs> and a little lake with uh, paddle boats that are free. And, you know, they have a lot of really nice amenities there. Mm -hmm. So, you know, don't, you know, you can still check with RV parks, too. If it says resort, yeah, don't bother if it says resort, because that's kind of like pink, pinky in the air, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and that, but but it's not, it, it pays to check around to all sorts of things. Yeah, you know, I just went to forest. a campground to check out with, um, Janice Beck, who's going to, while I'm gone, she's going to be taking over. She's going to be setting up a lot of meetups in the Southern California area. 
We like to try to have one at least once a month. So we went to check out a couple of campgrounds and we went to one by Julian called um, Agua Caliente. And that was a hot springs and they had an indoor hot spring. So that was fun. So you just have to kind of check around. But here's the thing. These are things that we can discuss actually on the nomads community because there's a news feed there. Okay. And um, we can have um, a lot of discussions in there as well. So I've got a couple more questions that I wanted to kind of get to. One was um, Wiggly, Wiggy said, um, how do you feel about pets in van life? Who has a pet? Liz, you have a pet. You have a dog. But, but, right? Jan, but Jan have, a, 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 she has two dogs one time. Now she have only one, but. Only yeah. one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I, it wasn't that much more trouble to have two than one. I mean, you know, you still have to protect them. Summertime is the hardest. I recommend above 7,000 feet in elevation <laughs> for pets. Uh, New Mexico State Camping Pass really is a wonderful deal. I used that quite a lot last year. So while everybody else was sweating and complaining and sweating and sweating, um, I had 70 degree days and 40 degree nights. And I'm wondering, well, what are y'all complaining about? Yeah, <laughs> I know, and I met other women who were there because of their pets. And that was in New Mexico in their state parks uh, where you can get a $225 state annual state pass, which is good for 13 months, including the month that you buy it. And you can camp for free after that for one year for eight for um, uh, 13 months. And, and uh, if you want electric, it's four dollars a night and you can stay nice and cool through the summer and it saves you a lot of money in New, New Mexico. Mexico. New Mexico, yeah, New Mexico State yeah. Camping Pass, yes. Yeah. But but that is if you have, but that is if you are not a resident of the state. Yes. For yes. resident, Be- it's cheaper. Yes, I think it last year it was 180, if I remember right, if you are a resident of New Mexico. Either way, it's a good deal if you just but use it a little bit. It's a good deal. It's a good yeah, deal. you pay for it right away. Uh, yeah. And $4 for electric. You know, uh, so you, it's kind of hard to beat that if you want to beat the weather because yeah. um, uh, latitude won't do it. Elevation will. Yeah, I think the true. general rule of thumb for bringing a pet. Now, I leave my pet home with my husband to keep him company. While I'm gone. <laughs> Plus, I, i be honest with you. I think it hinders me from going to some of the places that I want to go to. It will. I I don't bring um, our dog, little dog Frankie, cutest little thing, but I don't bring him. Um, Cindy, do you travel with a pet? You didn't bring one to Quartzsite. I bring him sometimes. Sometimes. Um, I'm still getting used to, I want to make sure he's safe. So I want to get used to how to accommodate when it's too, when it's too hot, I'm not going to go in a store and get groceries. You know? Well, what you, what you have to do on that is you have to be the first one at the store the earliest in the morning. You have to look at the weather. And if yeah. it's going to be hotter this morning and then the, and better tomorrow morning, then you go tomorrow, not today. Yeah. Okay. Or another things that you can do, you can go in the grocery store and get a few things there and you can come back and you can turn on the air conditioner and go to the dollar store and separate where you're buying things. So each one is a little quicker. But if you go super, super early, it's cooler you put up your window covers um leave the car running you can do that um and uh so those are just some split it up you know get don't even you know if you're if you're traveling if you can if it's really hot just get the bare minimum maybe tomorrow morning get a little bit so just make sure that you like set an alarm if you have to, because you can get a little lost in, in time-wise in a, in a Walmart or something, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. But that's that's what you have to do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Have yeah. you had any problems with people um, harassing, I'm not harassing you, but being upset because you left your dog in the car? No, but I do need to get a sign. I've been saying that for a year and a half now that says electric vehicle, AC is on, dog is cooler than you are. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so. And, 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 not, and not only hybrid, my new car, the uh, Four Flex, I could leave it for one hour with the AC running only on the battery. He's running on the battery. But yeah, I remember seeing that sign at... um. 
I was her name, um, Deb. She have a sign and she put it when she have to go. So that way she leave her little dog inside. But he, she have the same like you, a Pacifica too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah um, going, it used to be. Early, going early in the mornings, you yeah. know, or late at night. Uh, park in the shade, stuff like that, and be fast. You know, your dog is there. Don't take forever. You know, go buy something, come out. Like you said, give him a break. Make sure that he have water, that he's been walked, and everything, everything is going to be fine. Yeah. Yeah, the window covers are really important. Um, the biggest uh, heat or cold exchange is through your, um, your windshield. Uh, so window covers, <laughs> reflectics are, are really important and, uh, you know, they have to be a priority. I mean, yeah. uh, Carolyn's RV life, she has advertised, I think it's yeah, Wags, waggle. a little app. Yeah, the Waggle, yeah. Yeah, wa- Waggle or Wags, and, and I haven't got one, but mm-hmm. I, I mean, I haven't shopped for clothes. I take my chances and order them online. I'd love to go shopping for clothes again, but I haven't done that in a long time. Yeah, Carolyn uh, has a great channel. I really like watching her. Who? The, yeah. who? Carolyn's uh, RV Life. RV okay. Life. Uh, and let me tell you, when I was uh, in Arizona at Quartzsite, you know, I've been there since December 14. There was a lady in a tent. She had a car. She was in a tent, and she had a parrot. Oh, a bird. Yes. A, bird. a bird. She had a bear. A bird. And uh-huh. she... And she take him around and fly him, and then she oh. put him in the perch, and he goes inside. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell so you the ideal thing, pet for summertime. There's there's an ideal pet for the summertime that you won't have to worry too much about the heat. I used to have crested geckos in oh. a beautiful display case. They're the cutest little things. They they have this little permanent smile. They have these big round eyes. They don't they they can't scratch you or bite you or hit you with their tail and they move slow. They don't skitter. <laughs> 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 they're actually adorable little creatures um and they could they love the heat <laughs> um they don't take much space either no i i really wouldn't i don't know that i'd want to take one i mean i love the cuddlies yes yeah. i love the cuddlies um, Cindy, so, i like a companion so yeah. cindy when you're not with um traveling with your pet you leave her home with your husband so cindy is a yeah. um she's a solo traveler as well Right. And um, yeah. one thing that we did do, I had put up a video. We had a little panel. What were there, about five of us? Cindy was part of it. Um, yeah. When we were in Quartzsite, we did a little panel on married women traveling solo. And that was it was, I thought it was a great video. But from that video, we got so many comments that what we des- decided to do is start a, a village about talking about it amongst ourselves. So there's a village on there that says solo oh. women traveling solo that you can join and continue that conversation if you happen to be a solo woman, married solo woman, and uh, would like to chat about that. So it, the villages are not just about, um, they could be about anything. They could be about crafts. If you love to quilt, start a village about quilting. Get to know other quilters. You know, have a quilting meetup. Five villages. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it's yeah. It could uh, seriously, if you like to hike, start a hiking village. I cannot mm-hmm. do it all myself. I would like to do what I'm going to start doing now is, um, if there's if somebody hasn't already started a, a a local group like in their state, at least their state, I'm going to go ahead and start one for you guys, and then. If you if you live in that state or travel through that state, go ahead and join it. But I'm not going to run it. You know, you guys just handle it yourself. I'm just going to put the place there for you. And then if you're okay. in that state, like Colorado, I don't know if there's one in Colorado yet, Liz. I'll start one in Colorado, and whoever's ever in Colorado can can join that. You know what I mean? I just mm-hmm. started one in. Oh, I just started one in Arizona because I'm going to be traveling through Arizona. I want to know who's in Arizona. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so I have, let's get to just a couple more questions. This is a really good one. How do you stay fit on the road? 
<laughs> well, first of all, I, I got to say that because I had the worst. Well, it wasn't luck. <laughs> um, when you've traveled like I was traveling every day and you have a dog, you have a pet. You can't really, especially in the summertime, just run into a restaurant and take your time. And and, and you travel cheaply like I did, uh, where you are not paying for a campground. You are in parking lots, Cracker Barrels, um, you know, truck stops, that kind of thing. You don't just whip out your cooking gear and in a parking lot. Mm -hmm. I do recommend, and I did do it sometimes, going to a park where you're meant to have cookouts and, and, and you know, picnics and things. So you should do that. That's what I should have done more often. But I was just so amazed at seeing everything. That's all I wanted to do. I was a sightseer, not yeah. a camper. I was a sightseer. So what I'd, I'd pull into somewhere and, you know, drive throughs don't do that to yourself <laughs> figure okay. out a way not to do that um you know smoothies uh rice cakes protein bars and bananas uh anything you can do not to go through drive throughs because i'm wearing them to this day <laughs> yeah one thing that made a huge difference for me was getting an e-bike a small e-bike that folds up and I can easily take it with me. That made such a huge difference. On that particular trip, I lost some weight. Now, I have since gained it back. But I'm going on another trip <laughs> with my e-bike. So I'll, you know, use that. And Liz, I got another e-bike. It's, oh, just like, it's almost like the one that you have that folds in the middle, too. Because the small uh -huh. one didn't fold in the middle. Okay. Now, it's been raining a lot here, and I haven't been able to try it out yet. So I'm going to try that when I go to O'Neill. Okay, cool. Because well, let me what... tell you, in Quartzsite, I tried my bike, and that was too rocky for that little yeah. bike. The, yeah. the, the fat tires bikes, they were awesome there. But oh. I got rid of that one, so I had the, yeah. the little one. Well, mine's like yours. So okay. we'll be Thanks twins. Time. Okay. Here's another one. Um, are, is healthy eating uh, costs ex expensive? Everything is expensive now. Yeah. yeah. Seriously. So I went up to um, actually Walmart last night actually to get stocked up for my van. I found veg to buy frozen vegetables there because I have a freezer in mm -hmm. my van. So much cheaper than even the dollar store. I used to go to the dollar store to buy the little packets and stuff like that. But now that they're $1.25, I ain't doing that. Well, guess what? They were like 88 cents, the same packet at mm. uh, Walmart. Oh, huh. okay. And, um, so I usually, I'm going to be coming out with a video of how I packed um, my van up. Um, I started it, but then it got dark and I couldn't finish it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that one up this week. About that and give you some ideas of what I'm planning to bring with me and eat on the road. So hopefully that helps you out. I have a new suggestion, something new that I'm going to be trying. Okay. Um, and you know those uh, freeze-dried foods that you can get, they're already in a recipe. I can't use those because those are just full of salt. And they got all That's kinds it. of other things in them probably too. But yes. if you look at Harmony House... Um, and you can get them on Amazon. Um, if you get, if you open a package of corn or potatoes, they have individual ingredients that you can make recipes of. They also have some things that are mixed, like different kinds of soup that are freeze dried, freeze dried when they're fresh. So they haven't sat on a shelf a long time. You don't need refrigeration. They're very lightweight and compact and mm -hmm. you can use like a rice cooker, uh, to rehydrate them and you can make your own recipes and when you see onions or corn it's only onion that's the only one right. ingredient not yeah. preservatives there's not salt you can you uh, so it saves you space and it ends up being cheaper because you don't throw away a bunch 
You don't have peels. So I recommend, you know, looking into that. It's just, you can get a little tiny rice cooker to rehydrate, make your own recipes out of. I mean, yeah. it's just add it to your arsenal. It might not be the only thing. What I've, I found that they do rehydrate into a good consistency. But what I miss is their little tiny bites, little yeah. tiny little pieces, yeah. which is okay because it still tastes good. But after a while, you get tired of all these itty bitty little pieces. Yeah. You just want a little chunk of, like a, a potato or something, but add it to your arsenal, look into it. And I, I think it's a healthy choice. Right. And makes and sense. Liz, Liz showed her rice cooker at, um, when we're up in, um, where did we do that? I think we did that in, uh, the, um, Redwoods, huh? But the anyway, Redwoods. I'll have a video also coming out from a long time ago. Liz, <laughs> Remember when you showed your pot, your electric pot? Oh yeah. Yeah, that was when you were down in California a while ago. That yeah. one's going to come out too this week. I'm going to put that one up this week too. So make this sure time, you watch that one. This time when I went to Arizona, I packed a lot of dry freeze food, a chicken, a beef, a vegetable, mixed vegetable, and fruits. I ate all the fruits. I ate uh -huh. all the fruits with yogurt. I don't even hydrate them. I just mix them with yogurt, with um, cottage cheese every morning. That was breakfast, something easy. And then you put them in, in the bags, uh, um, mylar bags. So that way they stay fresh with, yeah. uh, they come in cans, they come in bags. Um, I was using the ones that uh, Colleen used in our meetup. Oh yeah, those were really yeah. good. Yeah, Abuson brand, uh, Farms, they're from Utah. There's a couple from Utah, different brands that they're very good. And yeah. the good thing is that you don't need refrigeration. And like you said, Jen, you just open it, you know, if they you need boil water, you just boil water and put it there, you know. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of ways that you could save money instead of going through a drive through you know, or going and order something in Chili's or whatever, you know. Yeah. And that, and that way you could control the budget. And that's something important because, hello, when you are full time, you spend a lot of money, you know. Uh, yeah. I've been, yeah. You need to save so money Anne, here and there. So Anna, Fueled by Wonderlust. Um, and by the way, if you have any car mechanical problems, <laughs> Anne is on Nomads down the road and just shoot her a message. I'm sure she'll be able to help you out. Anyway, she says hiking and joining the gym. Yeah, I belong to Planet Fitness. That was another thing that I did on that trip that I lost a lot of weight was join Planet Fitness. Um, and you can take showers there and stuff like that. Now, mm -hmm. A lot of people don't like Planet Fitness. They do have, I must admit, they do have a little issue with their shower situation because they have slippery floors. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank Where you. I don't like that either. No, that's dangerous. I know. I want people to know that you yes. have to be extremely careful. If you go like, into the locker room, in the locker room where it's not wet, they have a non-slip floor and you go into the shower area and i swear they found the slipperiest floor that they could possibly find and it's dangerous mm -hmm. it's really dangerous wow. i still have it and i use it rarely but i still have a membership i can't work out there because coco <laughs> dog yeah. you know but it is i have used it as a shower but boy be careful in there but their massage chairs are so good, aren't they, Jim? Oh, Remember when we were today? Oh, my gosh, yes. The hy yes, hydro. Yes. I like the hydro one. Yes. I like them both. I like the regular one. I, I like them both. Adele yeah. says, I just started doing re resistance bands, and that's a great workout um, to have by your rig. That is a great idea, Adele. There's a lot of instructional videos on YouTube. really helps um, build the muscles. That's very true. And you dancing. Can Dancing around the campfire is always fun. Oh, yeah. Belly dancing. Yeah, belly for sure. Belly dancing. Yeah, we get that at one of the meetups. Do you do belly dancing at your meetups now, too, Jim? Yes. Yeah, we awesome. do. Of course oh, we do. Yeah. yeah. And not only that, but if you um, like step aerobics, you can take a small step with you or find a step wherever you are. And um, you can do that with a video also. Uh, it's, it's good to do right there in your campsite. Uh-huh. Great idea. Uh, let me scroll down here just a little bit more. If you have a question, put QQQ so I can spot it really easily. Let's see if there's anything else because we're like about an hour and almost 20 minutes here. So I think we're going to.
go ahead and end this. Let's see. Um, da -da -da. Oh, it says here, uh, Sharon uh, asks, I didn't see anything on Nomad's website about, oh, Patagonia. Is that still a future meetup? No, it is not. I'm not going to be in the area in order to do that. But I tell you what, I can give you the name of the campground that I was going to have it at. And um, if you're in that area, I'm sure you can give them a call and um, get something going there. The owner is on Nomads down the road as well. And I can um, direct you um, to her. Cool. A lot of resources on the website. I hope you will join it. It is totally free to join, and we would love to connect with you. So I'm going to say, see you down the road. See you down Bye. the road. Bye. Safe travels. Nice to see you guys. Nice to see you. If not now, when? 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 <laughs> Don't when wait. Is now? Yep. Just do it. Do yep. it with what you have. There, that's true. Yep. Keep it simple. Yeah. Keep it simple. Do it with what mm -hmm. you have. Right. Thanks so Bye -bye. much. Bye. You're welcome. Bye. <laughs> Love your haircut.